respect. This is respect to others. Now, you don't necessarily need to agree with people all the time because God knows that isn't going to happen. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't respect their opinion and respect them as a person and a human being. Human, human. I just said that funny. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Technologically, we are brilliant. Ethically, that's how you do it, fellas. Let's clean these guys out now. I'm tired. Repeat, Stop trying to market. Stop trying to sell. Make friends and share something of value. Good people don't talk about kindness, they practice it. They don't pray about love, they actually give it. Think back to the last time you did something out of the kindness, the goodness of your heart for somebody. You helped somebody in need. How did you feel? Well, if you don't remember, it's been too long and you need to get on it because let me tell you something, it feels incredible. There's actually scientific research to show that the act of helping somebody releases the same amount of chemicals and endorphins in your brain as antidepressant drugs. I'm telling you super powerful, super positive stuff. Guys, helping others, it's why we're here, it feels great, but expect nothing except that great feeling that you're going to get. We need validation. Most of us don't understand what validation really is. We think that validation is some sort of encouragement or praise, when it actually isn't. Validation is confirmation that something is logically or factually sound. Basically, to validate somebody is to say that they are truthful and right in their perception. Historically, when you think of alpha male, you think of somebody who is a leader, all right? They're, they're, in, they're powerful in their presence. They're also powerful in their personalities. But the modern day alpha male, in my opinion, possesses a different set of skill set and personality traits. And I've gotten to a point in my life because I'm so aware of my competitive edge that it's like my favorite thing in the world is to play with the players that are the best. It's sort of like you're not going to become an NBA all-star by playing people who are on a farm team. It's not going to work. You have to play with the best of the best. You have to keep setting that bar higher and higher. And doing that, the beauty in doing that, it's not about being better than other people. What it, what it is is that like every time that bar goes up, you actually get to discover a whole new dimension of your own capability. And I, I am addicted to that. I love that. I always tell people that you don't have to go over the top. You don't have to put on a, a massive show for people. You don't have to win people's approval, you just have to win your own. Once you can become your own greatest fan and at least clap for yourself and say, gosh, I did a great job. It's amazing. You have to be run by ideas, not hierarchy. The best ideas have to win. Do you have the right personality for YouTube? Are you analytical? Are you funny? Are you well-spoken? You have to have at least one of those qualities, I would say, to be a good YouTuber. And if you're not being entertaining or funny, then you certainly better be a good gamer. Your skill should be top-notch, especially if you're doing analytical gameplay videos. Why would you want to watch a tutorial video from somebody who's not very good at the game? Another thing relating to maturity is, do you have thick skin? Can you take all the hate that's going to come your way once you get big on YouTube? It's inevitable. No matter who you are on YouTube, somebody is going to hate you for some reason. You realize that it's all BS, belief systems. So through changing your perception, you now change the situation. When we feel stuck in a situation, we are only seeing through one lens. 
By tapping into your perception, you are able to see through multiple lenses. In essence, you are able to see there are infinite possibilities as opposed to just one. You've got to see the bigger picture of the situation. So guess what? The situation no longer affects you like it did before. But the situation hasn't changed. No. You have them. And that's the secret. Because entertainment is an essential part of our lives. And games can do things that nothing else in entertainment can. They can transport you to new worlds. They can give you the true wonder of discovery and often the pride of accomplishing something yourself in a game. It's a wonderful moment. It is one thing to use a weapon. It's another to kill. Never.